up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video in today's video topfit just sent me a model y or i guess it's a model 3 phone holder for for the tesla model y screen we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing installation and quick review of this phone holder product so thanks to topfit for sending out this video and let's get into it Watching another video guys if you're new here my name is Dennis I have a Tesla Model Y performance and I make videos about my experiences so if you're interested in any of that please hit that subscribe so the Model 3 and the Model Y doesn't really have a decent place to display your phone. You can, you can buy this dashboard accessory where you can prop the phone up here like this, but I put my sunglasses there for the most part. Typically, you could put your phone down here uh, to do some wireless charging, but it's kind of out of the way, so you can't really see it if you're using it for like GPS. Most of the time, I just throw my phone into this center dash console thing down here and then pick it up when I need it. I don't really have any sort of solution when I want to display ways on my phone and I wanted and I want to display the phone somewhere on the screen so so that's hopefully what this accessory does really well it looks like it attaches to this screen right here and then it just kind of holds the phone right here I've had different versions of this accessory on my previous Model 3. I had one that's clamped right here, which was really nice and minimalistic and out of the way. It was just a little bit too far out of reach and just also a little bit too far to kind of see. So I actually had an accessory that held the phone here before. And, and I actually also had a phone mount that I reviewed here in a different video. And I really liked the placement of it, of the phone right here. But, but unfortunately that brand that I got, it rattled a lot. And so you could hear a lot of rattles while you're driving. So this is the new, top fit accessory that they just sent out it's supposedly it's made out of silicone or rubber so it doesn't rattle as much so let's go ahead and unbox it do a quick installation of it and then also review it as well so top fit definitely has some good packaging with their stuff but it's been in my car for a bit right now so it basically all fall apart so here is everything it comes with. It looks like it has a holder for the back so you can put like a toll pass or something back there. Two hooks so you can decide whether you want to mount your phone on the left side or the right side. This piece is what I'm most excited about. It's a silicone or rubber phone holders so that your phone doesn't rattle as much when it's being held. And this thing just goes on the back of your Model Y screen and looks like they upgraded it. I think a previous version that I had before did wasn't necessarily uh, soft on the inside it was just plastic so the so the contact parts were just plastic on plastic so it looks like this goes onto the back of here like that so you can put like a toll pass on there and then these hooks just go onto the right and left side depending on which side you want to mount the phone so i'm going to go ahead and put it on the left side first i guess i could just put both sides on and then that way we could just switch whenever we want to mount the phone on the left side or the right side so after that it just goes right on top of here it just slides right on pretty nice and firm and then this seems to just screw onto the back uh, you can just it looks like i just turn it a little bit to make it loose and then just snap it on like that and then just tighten it whenever i want my certain angle so let me go ahead and install this and then i'll put the phone in as well Okay, so I just tightened it up. It's definitely, yeah, super rubbery, so the phone probably won't make too much noise while it's in the holder and rattle as much. So let's see the moment of truth. Let me put my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is the biggest iPhone currently, and it seems to be holding, but it looks like the sides are kind of warped to the they're not necessarily snug. I don't know if you guys can see that it's 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 held. It doesn't really seem to be going anywhere, but I think my case is kind of messing with it just a little bit because it is rubber and it's not hard plastic like anything else. So yeah, I think what's happening here is these backside, this backside right here, and oh no, I guess it's supposed to just be made like that. It's it's just supposed to be held with these things and not necessarily clasped together like a like a front and back type of thing. So I guess it's just supposed to be held like this. And then on the bottom right here, it 
prevents it from moving, falling forward. And then kind of these side things right here also prevent it from falling forward. But it's just, I guess it's supposed to just be snug like this. And it seems to be pretty firm and it's not necessarily going anywhere, but that's basically it. The full toner, which definitely it's in your visibility when you're driving, but I think it's a great location if you're using Waze a lot or Google Maps on your drives instead of using the Tesla navigation. And the iPhone 12 is definitely a taller phone, but if you wanted to even turn it sideways, that would probably be even best if you're wanting to use it for Waze on like long road trips. And then this, you can see it kind of, from my visibility, if I sat as if I was driving, this is basically how much it's gonna cut off your visibility when you're driving. If you turn it this way, then it's gonna cut off about this much of your visibility when you're driving on the roads. So definitely it's gonna get in your way. Uh, that's why I kind of like this other one. There's the other foam mounts that go over here, but the other foam mounts that go over here are a little bit too further out of your way. And this one is exactly in your line of sight. So if you needed to get information from Waze or something like that, it would be a lot easier with this phone mount. So yeah, thanks for watching this quick video on this phone mount holder by Top Fit for the Tesla Model Y or your Model 3. I really like it. I think it's a much better upgrade than the one before that I had. I think it was also made by Top Fit. I'm not too sure, but it was also model, mo but it was also motorized. So definitely don't get that one. You can get this silicone one by Top Fit. It's really nice. Uh, it may be not the best for the iPhone 12 Pro Max with a case. You might have to take your case off just so it fits a little bit more snugly, but I definitely like this this style of phone mount. There's other ones out there as well, like Jaway, but I haven't tested those just yet. So I'd love to, Jaway, if you're interested in sending me out one of your phone mounts. But I'm certainly gonna keep this one and use it on this and use it on my long road trips that I'm doing all over California. And as a bonus, I really like this other area where I can put like my toll pass and stuff in there and it just be, and it's just like an extra storage place and it's just out of view when I'm looking forward, which is just great. So I really like that. So thanks to TopFit for sending out this phone mount holder for your Tesla Model Y. And thanks to you for watching this video. Please hit that like if you enjoyed it and comment below if you have this exact phone mount or you have other ones and your experiences with them. I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.